9090 internal hip rotation capsular access, tails and rails. We're gonna get set up in our 9090 position. 90 degree in this front knee, 90 degree in this back knee. Knee, hip, shoulder in line. This front knee is in front of our shoulders and our hips, okay? We are going to lean out to the side. We are going to fuse our spine and our pelvis together and we are going to rotate so that our pelvis is rotating over top of our femur, which is blocked by the floor. So that's in a fixed position. Our pelvis is gonna roll over it until we're as far as deep as we can be in this position. We can think about bringing our butt cheek towards the floor. And if we want to either boost ourselves up on yoga blocks, we can either be way back here, or we can try to lean ourselves up and forward a little bit more. It's up to you and your comfort. We're gonna spend our two minutes here breathing nice and deep. Stretch should be about a four out of 10 on the stretch scale. We don't want it to be super intense. It shouldn't be pinchy, it shouldn't be sharp. It should feel kind of deep and dull. Achy, maybe. After our two minutes, please set a timer. After our two minutes of nice deep breathing, inhaling on counts of four, exhaling on counts of six, we are going to set up for our pail. Pail, we're gonna work by trying to push our ankle down into the floor, trying to scoop underneath as if the floor wasn't there. Okay, and then we're going to go right into our rail. Our rail is gonna be trying to bring the foot or the ankle up towards the shoulder, as well as trying to give ourselves a deeper position and try to roll our pelvis over our femur even more. Okay, so we're gonna do this together. Nice deep breath in, trap the air in our core. We're gonna push into the floor. We're gonna try to separate the floor with our hands. We're gonna engage our shoulders, our quads, our glutes, our chest, our back, our torso, um, calves, thighs, absolutely everything. Every muscle is squeezing and on contraction, okay? We're gonna start by pressing that ankle down into the floor. That should be coming from that stretched tissue. All of that is contracting now. Everything that it takes to help you push farther and deeper. 10% of our max effort, 20% of our max effort, 30%. 40%, make sure this knee doesn't pop up. There should be a little pressure there too. 50%, 60%, 70, 80. Bring it up to your greatest and safest effort. We're pushing, trying to get as hard as much as we can for 10, nine, eight, breathe. When we get down to zero, we're gonna go in the opposite direction. Four, three, two, one, zero. Try to pull that foot up towards you, but don't bring that hip up and away. Try to sink that hip deeper, further, further. Pull the ankle up, sink the hip down. Pull, pull, pull the ankle up, sink the pelvis down. Pull the ankle up, bring that butt cheek towards the floor. Pull ankle up, try to get that butt cheek towards the floor. More, 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 more. Do more, do more, 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 more. Bring it your greatest and safest effort, 100%. Three, two, and one. As we slowly start to relax out of this position, it shouldn't be all at once, do it kind of slow. We don't wanna like kind of shy up and away back to where we were. We wanna stay as deep as we possibly can be. We pulled ourselves so much deeper into this position. We wanna make sure that we hang on to it. So nice deep breaths, long inhales, long exhales. We're gonna do one more. Nice deep breath in, trap the air in the torso. Make sure that our core is engaged. Let that tension spill out to the rest of the body. Squeeze your hands shoulders, chest, back, core, torso, glutes, quads, and calves. Start driving that ankle down into the floor at 10%, 20%, 30%, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Greatest and safest effort for 10, nine, eight, seven, three, two, one, pull up in the other direction. You're still 100% body tension. You're trying to pull your foot up to your face. You're trying to pull this butt cheek down to the floor. Heel to the face, butt cheek to the floor. You can start trying, you can try to rotate your torso even further. Bring your ankle up to you. Bring your butt cheek towards the floor. Pelvis, try to sink it lower. Ankle towards you. Four, three, two, one. Nice and slow, start to relax. Make sure we're sinking and relaxing as deep as we can into this stretch. We wanna stay here and do some nice deep breaths. For about 30 seconds while we are as relaxed as we possibly can be. We just earned a lot of new range of motion. We want to make sure that we hold on to it and maintain it. After however many pails rails that you are doing, make sure that you take that 30 seconds, set a timer, to sit in this position in a calm, relaxed manner because that's how we tell our brain and our body that this is a position that we can access, that we're safe in, and that we can utilize. When that is finished, gently rotate out of it and sit up out of that position.